Thank you so much for tuning in today. I have a tutorial or I guess kind of like a get ready with me style video. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to call it. But this is a summer to fall transition makeup look. And I did this due to a request that I received on my Instagram. I went on there and asked you guys uh, what you guys would want to look because I was sitting down to film several videos. I have filmed three videos today. Uh, but uh, Amanda from by Amanda Perry requested this. I will leave all of her information to look below. I love her. She is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And her videos, you guys, they are amazing. I absolutely adore her. You have to check her out. So like I said, all of her info will be down below. So thank you so much, Amanda, for requesting a summer to fall transition look. I sat down and had no idea what I was going to create. I just brought some makeup in this room and started playing around. Literally, I had no idea what I was doing and I created this look. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks again, Amanda, for requesting this. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Let's go ahead and get started with this summer to fall transition look. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I just pulled a few different palettes that I wanted to pull colors from and then we'll go from there. So this look might turn into a hot mess. <laughs> so I have already primed my eyelids. I used the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I pulled out the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, the uh, Tartlet in Blue, and the new Lorac Pro 3 palette. So I'm just going to open them all up and kind of see what look or like what colors call my name. I gotta admit, I'm a little, you know, kind of, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but we're gonna go for it. Um, I kind of have an idea of what I want. Like I still want like a really pretty kind of bronzy look with a pop of color but still staying kind of neutral since we are transitioning from summer to fall and when I think summer I think fun pops of color and when I think fall I think more bronze um, a little bit more on the kind of darker side but not too too dark so we're gonna see how this turns out Okay, I'm going to dip into my Tartlet and Bloom palette first, and I'm going to take the shade Smarty Pants. It's like almost, it's like a cool tone blending color. It's really pretty. It's not too dark, and it's not, it's just a really pretty kind of neutral cool tone, more on the cool tone. Um, and it's not too dark. Since I don't know what I'm going for just yet, I'm going to go ahead and use that. I um I don't know like if I'm gonna go for something super hmm let's see what bronzy color Ooh, we can use rose bronze from the Lorac Pro palette so I'm gonna take the shade rose bronze right there it's really pretty bronzy kind of rosy color it's not too it's kind of a neutral color so I'm going to take my finger and just apply that on my lid Uh, it's a little uh, kind of cooler than what I wanted so it's not as bronzy as I was expecting it to be but I'm okay with it we'll work with it here in a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and start defining the outer V just a tiny bit I am going to go in with I think I want a little bit of cranberry-ish thrown into the mix so I'm gonna go ahead and add just a color from the um, Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm mixing two colors to create a cranberry color. Hopefully this works out guys. I'm kind of, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to take a little bit more of Smarty Pants and blend that up to kind of diffuse the colors together. Okay, so, so far, I like how this is looking. I am going to go ahead and finish the other my other eye and then 
do the concealer and all that and then we'll come back and finish the eyes and see if we can add more color more depth and stuff to it okay so I'll be right back okay so I have finished applying my um, concealer and bronzer and I went a little bit heavier on the bronzer just because I wanted to look a little bit extra bronze uh, you know because it's the end of summer and normal people look bronzed whereas I never look bronzed because I don't tan I get rid <laughs> so I just added a little bit extra than what I normally would so that's probably why it looks a little bit crazy on the camera um so I was looking at my at my palettes and there's this really pretty green in the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette right there and I think I want to use that as like a pop of color we've got like a little bit of a cranberry-ish bronziness going on the eye but I think if we added this on the lower lash line it would look really really pretty and give you that color from you know summertime but still a nice color that can transition into fall very very easily oh and I realized I forgot to tell you what colors I mixed in to create the cranberry color these two right there is what I mixed in to create like a cranberry cranberry ish color so I don't think I'm gonna add any more depth or anything to the eye look I like the way it is I don't want anything too dark so now I have two eyeliners that are greenish and I'm going to see which color works best. I have this one from Colourpop and this one is in the shade Teaspoon. I don't know, I feel like this might be a little bit too bright of a green. So that's definitely a very bright green. And then I have one from Mali Beauty and this is in the shade Caribbean Sea that looks a little bit darker has a little bit more blue to it though I think this the Caribbean I think see this is the color pop one and this is the Mali one which has a little bit more like blue tealness to it um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the color pop one and let's cross our fingers and hope this works um, and let's hope it's not like a hot mess so lower lash shine not too much and then I'm gonna take a little blending brush like a tiny one and take that green color and we'll start blending that baby in I'm gonna take a little bit of smarty pants that I used all over the crease to just kind of diffuse the greenness just a little bit And I think that's all I'm going to do. Normally I would go in with a little bit of like a, the cranberry color and kind of hmm, blend the two together. Well, let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to take like a flat liner brush and I'm going to, you know, mix in that cranberry color again. And I'm going to just kind of tap it into the outer part of the eye. Not too much. I don't want too much color. I just still want a little bit of definition though. I like that. It looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do the other eye. Work one eye at a time. That way that the eyeliner won't set on you. So I applied on mascara and while I after I finished I wanted to since the lower lash line kind of um, after you apply mascara kind of diminish the green a little bit I went ahead and applied the Mali one on my waterline and it really kind of makes that green pop even more so for my blush I am going to go I had brought in Milani's Luminoso I just don't think it's gonna work so I'm gonna go ahead and use Benefit's Rockateur right there it's a really pretty kind of mauve natural ish uh, matte well it's not matte it's like a really it has a really pretty sheen to it so I'm gonna apply that and I used benefits hula bronzer I feel like with all my lighting like 
I apply a little a blush a little bit more than normal so like it doesn't look like it's too much in this lighting and then once I step outside I'm like holy cow girl what were you thinking <laughs> Okay, and for highlight, I applied a little bit of Stila's All Over Liquid, All Over Shimmer Liquid Luminizer in Kitten. I don't know if they still make this or not, but I have had this for the longest time, and I applied a little bit. I didn't go too crazy. I'm going to apply a little bit more. We want to look a little bit bronze and a little bit. I'm just applying some to my hand right there, and I'm going to use a stippling brush. So lips. I brought two colors that I kind of used as inspiration to create this look. I have L'Oreal Statement Nude and I also brought a new one from Pacifica or a new color to me. This is in the shade Beach Goth. Let's see. It's a really pretty kind of mauve-ish color. So pretty. I don't know what color I'm going to use. Like it looks really purple in the tube. Let's see. Nah, yeah, this isn't going to work for this look. We're going to have to go with the Statement Nude because it kind of looks like, you know, the packet. Well, for some reason in this lighting, it's looking more purple than what it is. I don't know. I don't think it's going to look good, though. I mean, it might work. I'm a little scared. I'm not going to go for it. So I'm going to go ahead and go with L'Oreal's uh, Statement Nude. I love this color so much. It's a really pretty nude color. So that is the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. This was very different for me. So thank you so much, Amanda, for requesting this. I really had so much fun doing this. And it's something very different. And I do like the way this look turned out. I hope you guys did too. I mean... It's definitely, I feel like it's a very, uh, you know, summer to fall kind of look because you do have like those, you know, kind of fall appropriate colors and you do have a little bit of a pop of color so you do get a little bit of uh, brightness in there and then you do have just a regular nude lip. Um, I feel like you can definitely wear more of like a mauve, a deeper mauve color and make it more fall appropriate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming this and creating this look. I actually have really, really fallen in love with the way this makeup looks. Uh, turned out. I am very pleased with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and like this makeup look as well. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And like I said, all of Amanda's information will be linked below. If there's anything that you guys would like to see in the future, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I love getting requests from you guys. It kind of challenges me to do something different like this video did uh, or like this makeup look did so definitely leave your request down below i am trying to pre-film as much as i can since work is kind of slowly creeping up on me and i want to have several videos up for you guys um whenever that time does come so thanks again for watching i hope you enjoyed and please subscribe if you haven't already and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye